Most people in America are content with their jobs and therefore they stay in them as long as they can. I had a late sibling who literally worked for 20 years in a company and then she got fired and had to begin again. That happens to a lot of people. My own late father worked in a company 42 years and was not fired. He took a silver bullet and anyone of my age and generation and station knows what that is. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth about job hunting today and job hunting today requires online usage of a computer, a cell phone, Wi-Fi of some kind, and openly access to our own emails, our own social media, and our own video chat channels. Since I have been constantly psychologically and abused and gaslit by police officers across several state lines, I can tell you that they shut down my Skype uh, channel, and I did not give them permission to do that. I've also had two social media accounts been shut down by the interactions of possibly local law enforcement or security companies with local low-level employees of the staple shop. I don't enjoy that and I sort of marvel at that, but it is what it looks like, it is what it feels like, and it's what I think. It is very possible that I'm completely wrong, but I don't think so. The proving of that or disproving of that I have asked to their corporate office. I do believe that they sent a divisional manager around, but my guess is he said, do whatever the hell you want in monitoring him, and the truth is that is not in their job description. The Lord Most High is definitely not pleased with them, and they need to really get by on their own life. You see, the employees that are really consistently loving and kind really do understand poverty because most of them are living just averagely above the poverty line. They also acknowledge that they're going to have to work all their lives, and sometimes the bad behaving employees will behave in a way that makes them think they're in power over somebody when really what they're doing is abusing the human capital time that their company is actually employing them to do their real job which is the vending of products from international corporations that all have code of ethics on abuse and discrimination the liars of america has just driven by me and probably the guy that stole my sunglasses in the night is one of them because he's wearing some just like it but in life, we have moments of time to speak the truth of what's happening to our lives and give a story or do what's called storytelling. There are actually storytelling festivals all over America, or there used to be before the time of COVID. And the problem will not be subsiding anytime soon of COVID, but Americans' desire to get out in the fresh air will continue as we head into fall and winter. Events and festivals will probably go forward despite the fact they will all be out there in our masks. 